believers are falling by the wayside. Yeah. Come on. That's right. That's right. I blame a lot of this on leadership. I blame it. I blame it on church leniency. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. that right. Church being lean. That's uh -huh. right. Uh -huh. mm. Church allowing you to do and say and act any kind of way. Tell it. Come on now, bring it up. Without, without saying anything. Because the truth of the matter is that the word of God never changes. It's us who change. And it's us who try to get the word of God to bend and shape to what we want to do. Wonder why we can't hear God. It's because we don't want to conform but we want God to conform. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. See? Oh, yes, sir. We don't want to change for God. We want God to change for us. That's true. That's right. Lord, just let me do it this one time. Yes. 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 Lord, forgive me this time. Let me, let me pass. Jesus. Let me. Let, let me get through this time, God. And I promise I'll never do it again. Y'all don't want to hear this. Uh, I'm talking from experience. Have you ever asked God for leniency? Yes. Lord, I don't want to comply to your word. But I want you to put up with me. That's right. Lord, put up with me, Lord. Amen. Come on. Let me not die in my mess. Yes, and when we live this type of life, a travel the fence life, life of a double minded man, life of someone who says, I love you the next. I love you now, but do what I want to do with the next. Come on, come on. Listen, can I, can I just talk to you for a minute? Come on. You wouldn't even love someone that treats you like you treat God. Come on. Come on. You couldn't even love somebody that treats you like you treat God. Sometimes I'm on your team, and other times I'm not. I love you when it's convenient for me. Yes, sir. That's right. Lord, sir. But it's hard for me to, to love you when I gotta go through a trial with you. That's right. You wouldn't even, you wouldn't even put up with folk <laughs> like you put up, like God put up with you. Come on, tell me. Thank you. Yes, Watch this. Yes, Yet we ask to hear his voice. Yes. Yes. Yet we ask to know a prophecy or a word or a rainbow uh -huh. impartation in our lives. Yes, right. And we get upset yes, we do. when God does not Come speak to us. us. Come on, Amen. Amen. Church. In order for you to hear God's voice, it's going to take a new resolution on your behalf. Uh -huh. I need you to do me a favor and touch your neighbor and say, God is looking for a new commitment. God is looking for a new commitment. 
I'm sorry to say this, but some of you are still operating on a 2017 commission in 2019. Some of you are still operating on an old covenant. God said to tell my people today that it's time for you to make a new commitment. Amen. Yes. That's right. To who he is uh -huh. in your life. Yes. Right. First thing you have to do is learn to distinguish uh -huh. Come on who you are in God. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, Lord. You got to learn how to know your ranking. That's right. Your placement yes. in the body of Christ. Yes. Uh -huh. well, yeah, yeah. I need you to touch your neighbor and say, baby, you ain't normal. <laughs> Y'all let me just deal with you for a second. I need you to understand in God. You're not average. In God, you're not uh, the bottom of the totem pole. In God, you're not the smallest, you're not the weakest link. In God, there is more to you than you can even see. See, you have to realize that you are more than what it looks like. You cannot be defined by how much money you got in your pocket. You cannot be, be defined about uh, how much health you got in your body. You cannot be defined by how many people don't like you and how many people do like you. You cannot be defined by all of these worldly things. For God said, for I knew you before the foundations of the earth. I blessed and anointed you. See, what you got to realize is that you were blessed before the accident. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, see, 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 you got to understand the things that miss your life is because God has ordained your life. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the things that should have gotten you but didn't get you is because God has a major plan for you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The yes. reason that you slip so many hands of death uh -huh. yeah. is because there's a plan on your on. life. Yeah. You have to yeah. understand your positioning, That's right. your purpose, mm -hmm. your reason. Speaking something there. I, I came to the place where I, I understand. I understand that I'm not I'm not going, I'm not just a regular person. That's, That's right. right. That's true. That's right. That's true. That's true. I am the anointed of God. Yes. 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 Come on. And watch this. Once you know how anointed you are, you understand how protected you are. Yes. 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 Right. Yes. 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 Come on, come on down. I'm ready to come. I'm gonna come down. See, see, see. Once you understand how anointed you are, yes. You understand why you didn't die in the accident. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's Let's right. Come on now. That's right. Come on. What does God have to do to make you realize who you are to him? That's right. Wow. 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 Mm -hmm. I need you to really think about this. Why are you not dead right now? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Yes, Lord. People been in the same operation you've been in and didn't make it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Some folk car won't even bend up like that car that you was hit with. That's right. That's right. But didn't walk out. Yes. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. So why has God preserved you? Oh, that's right. If 
devil's no reasoning for you. Oh. If there's no purpose for you, why would God preserve you? Right. Yes, right. The reason that God 